Last time I made a video like this, I looked like this. <laughs> what the f***? That's, that's unreal. <laughs> a lot has changed in the last year or so, but we're back trading in Rocket League, accepting everyone's first offer. Let's get me off the screen. Be sure to drop a like, subscribe down below to join the Pixel Army. If you don't know what this is, basically I go into normal trades with people and I kind of maybe subtly suggest that they can choose what they pay for it, but either they want an item of mine and I say, how much do you want to pay for it? Or they show me an item and I say, how much do you want me to pay for it in terms of credits or items and stuff like that? I'll usually say stuff along the lines of name your price or what's your offer to maybe let them think they could go a little bit higher and most people don't take advantage of it too much but remember back in the day we of course had to trade away our white octane for a thousand credits because someone saw the opportunity took it and ran all the way home with it it might just be a regular trading session but the rule is i have to accept the first offer so the onus is on the traders so best of luck so to start off i'm going to put credits offer here and say i have this item see what people are trading for credits and then we'll go from there see what they ask for and then later on i'll probably do specific items from my archive that people want and ask them to make an offer on that so if we have a look this guy they have tons of stuff don't accept offers so but it says credit offer there so a little bit confusing but if he put in a white fennec i could say how much do you want for it that could be quite cool but then again i've got a white fennec so no point doing that let's see what else we've got white octane black market offer okay let's see what we can get from this guy white octane maybe i could offer black markets or i could say how many credits do you want for it and we'll see hopefully he doesn't say fifty thousand credits because that'd be an absolute rinse because once i've done this video i can't do it again for literally another year until you guys forget about it and then i can bring it back otherwise i get ruined <laughs> oh this is interesting dm me your offer do i have to do that I'll see if they accept. Here we go. Prince Zuku has got the white octane. I'm not wearing this one. I'm actually wearing a black octane. This is backers mod. So it'll be like, hey, we got a painted octane lover. Maybe, just maybe, uh, they'll they'll throw in a spicy offer and I can get another white octane. So I've already got one from that insane trader video recently. So perhaps we could get something sick. You never know. Oh, wow. We got an interesting looking car here. Yo, maybe I should have changed my name from Pixel. What items do you have? See, if he's got a white octane, I'll say, how much do you want for it? what's your offer oh here we go we're getting into a trade winner that is the most unique looking car i i possibly have ever seen really interesting colors as well and oh okay we got a white octane white fennec how oh a gray octane a gray fennec come on keep rolling out the colors give me the crimson give me the croctane and the krennic huh no nothing that might just be it okay well we'll say how much do you want for the titanium white octane name your price bang that's like a subtle one because name your price could be name your price and i'll pay it or it could be name your price i'm willing to pay anything i want it now i can't be like i'll pay anything because they might completely rinse me maybe towards the end of the video i'll do on one trade or I'll say name your price i'll pay anything and just see how if they take the mick but i don't know we've got a white octane white fennec don't need the white fennec because i have a non-tradable one will we ever see a white octane in the item shop i go by the logic of yes but at the moment, we haven't. It's 2022, October 2022, and we still haven't seen a white octane in the item shop. It's absolutely crazy. Very unexpected. But imagine I was on voice chat here, and he was just like, oh, this is what he's doing. Let me just uh, say 110,940 credits real quick. Uh, but yeah, Prince Suku, the ball is in your court. Let's see. I don't think I'll be wanting the gray octane. That'd be PTSD to my very, very recent, very rare drop trader video. Where I almost had a heart attack thinking that perhaps I'd got a titanium white octane when in actual fact i had an 8500 is that your offer there we go i mean if that is it that is it i, I would say that's a fair enough offer if you say yeah and items uh what items and items okay i mean let's ask him um because i don't know i might be getting a little bit rinsed now let's see what items he wants so 8500 we'll put that in because that is his offer but now he can say i guess any item Oh, really? Really? This guy? I can I can only give 2,000 credits at once. Is your account new? Okay. I mean, I'll just do it anyway. Um, but it is what it is. Uh, we'll see what we can do, though. We'll figure something out. You know what? I wouldn't recommend this, but because I'm doing a trading first offer video and I'm expecting to perhaps lose some stuff, I'm going to trust this guy. I'm going to believe that they're a good person for no reason other than just trying to see the good in people 
and I will go first. I am setting them up here. And obviously, this is a new account. No one knows who they are in real life. They can just get a new account. So even if they did scam me and I exposed them, it's not going to ruin their life. They're not going to... There's, there's going to be no difference here. But I want to see, are they going to do that? So they'd get 8,000 credits for free, which would be a little bit of an L. But we'll see. We'll see. I mean, let's, let's give, give them credit and see how it goes. Okay. Oh, God. I'm not even going to say anything like don't scam me, anything like that. Let's just see how it goes. I'm nervous. I'm I'm really expecting him to scam me here. I'm not going to lie because he's going to get 8,000 credits for basically nothing. I just have a bad feeling about this. Yeah, of course. Promise. Smiley face. I, I got to get put a little bit of guilt in there. And uh, I promise. Okay, that's a promise. I mean, if you know me promise is law like i know some people just say it and they say it to try and leverage their position in something for me a promise is it's done if i promise you that's why i don't make many promises because i i don't make promises i can't keep so even if he was going to scam me he wouldn't leave yet because he's like oh this is free credits you know what i mean so he would leave if he was going to scam me after the 8000 credits if he was really trying to mug me off he'd take the 8000 credits go into a trade again put the white octane in i'll put 500 credits in and all the other stuff and then he takes it off and says get scammed nerd so this could end up being 2000 credits for the sky blue whisperers the forest green tankers whatever else he's going to put on but I don't think you should do this. Like I said, I'm in the position in this video to essentially be making a loss and everything like that. So I'm. it is what it is. It's a little bit of an L, but at the same time, he, he might not scam me. He might, you know, and if he doesn't, part of me is like, I think if he doesn't scam me, I'll probably reward him. I might chuck in a dueling dragons for like goodwill just because he didn't have to not scam me. Obviously, if you're a decent human being, you have to just not scam someone. That's just what you do, right? Like I've been given the most valuable items in the game. I've been given white hat to borrow, alpha boost, worth like tens of thousands of dollars basically. And never even occurred to me to scam someone uh, and to scam these people. I just give it back. You know what I mean? So, oh, you're kidding. What's happening here then? What's, go what's going on? Bruh. What? What's that? What is that? I was just about to say, I don't think this is his fault. Maximum trade limit reached. Rocket League, why are you stifling... What? Why are you stifling accounts to this extent? I think this guy is nice. I don't think he wants to scam me. I think this is a genuine, unfortunate situation. You're good. It's fine. No worries. Tomorrow? I don't have a choice. <laughs> So I owe this guy 2,500 credits and he owes me a white octane. <laughs> what a great start. Thank you, Rocket League. Thank you so much. Now this guy wants to trade some, you know, Honda Civics with me. Well, if I do get to trade with him tomorrow, I'll guess I'll insert the clip here. If I get a chance to record and everything should be here. And we'll see what happens. Because it's not like this guy can go and trade with other people now. His day's done. It's over. No more trading for him. He's got a clock out. That's what's Rocket League saying anyway. 6,000 credits down. And uh, this is what I got so far. <laughs> we have Cobalt Woofers, Forest Green Tankers, and Sky Blue Whisperers. All of which I have already got. So we're going to move on now and see what we can uh, do with the Honda Civics. Not where I thought this video was going to go. Future Matt here, and not only has he not removed me from my friends list, he's actually invited me as soon as I've come online. So let's do this trade. Yo, my guy is still here. Let's get this trade done. Invited trade, no more Rocket League blockage. 2,000 credits, then 500 credits. Then I give the items back, and then we're good to go. I might give him a little something else. Maybe just like a little dueling dragons or something, just because he could have totally scammed me. And not only that, he assured me, he was like, don't remove me from your friends list. And then he was inviting me back to complete this trade. Obviously, that is assuming he doesn't dip now after getting the final 2,000 credits that he knows he could possibly get. So I have faith in him. He's invited me back. You'd have to be some kind of monster to wait a day. Invite me back just to scam me. There's no way this guy scams me. So uh, I'll click invite to trade. We can do the final one. 500 credits. This one might not go through because we both invited. But here we go. 500 for the finale. And then I give back all the other stuff. No, no, no. You can give me the octane now, chief. Uh, that one, that one, that one, that one. Octane. Smiley face. Let me just get rid of that thing there. Octane. There we go. Because th these are the final credits. And these are the items he gave me. I don't need another junk item. You can just chuck the octane in there. Cut out the middleman. The fact that he put that there is a little bit weird. Is he trying to get the final 500 credits? Because if he was just doing the trade, he'd put the white octane in there. 
So, no shot. Oh my gosh. What? Dude, dude, I'm lost for words. How are you gonna, uh, what? All of a sudden, my fears may be realized. It's like he wants me to do this trade and then he'll give me the white octane, but that's just shady. This is kind of, I feel like this is a bit scummy because he could easily just absolve himself theoretically of all responsibility by saying, my friend won't give it to me. Like he could easily just par it off on this mysterious friend who we know even less about. That's mental. That's crazy. You're lying. I, I don't believe that for a second. That's crazy. That's crazy. I don't believe this for a second, man. Wait, did he show it to me yesterday? Okay, he did. Why on earth would you give it to him? My jaw is on the floor. This is shady. What? What do you mean? It's the morning of the next day. We couldn't have traded any earlier. You're what? If he's not willing to trade back the credits, then I think he scammed me. Because if he, if he trades back the credits, then it is what it is. But if he doesn't, then that's crazy. That's so dumb. You don't just do that. You don't... In the middle of a white octane trade... When? Soon is way too vague in many contexts. Like, soon could be sometime today. Soon, in this context, should be in the next couple of minutes. If you know he can be on in 15 minutes, why can't he just be on now quickly? Why? Oh my god! Oh my god! I knew it! As soon as he put in another junk item to get the 500 credits, he was just trying to get as many credits as possible. I doubled down on what I said. To wait another day and invite someone back just to, just to squeeze as many credits out of them as possible is scummy, monstrous behavior. Obviously, this is an accepting first offer video, so I was expecting to make some kind of loss. So the fact that I had to do it to expose a scammer, it is what it is. There's no wonder it was a new account. It's probably banned on many others. That's That actually shocked me. You saw at the start of this clip today, I was excited because he invited me back because I thought he was going to complete the trade. But no, it was fully, fully to scam me. Oh... My god, this video took a turn for the worst. I haven't edited this yet, but now I have the rest of the video that I recorded yesterday. So I guess you can have a look at that. Genuinely shocked. I was skeptical of this the whole time, but thought I'd test it. And then right up to the point where I finally believed they might be doing the right thing. They hit me with that. Delete friends, leave the game. Well, enjoy your 8,000 credits, you absolute snake. All right, so I actually added him to see if he blocked me. And I guess he hasn't. Yo, can I get the white octane? If he's accepted me to come back in and just act like nothing's wrong. And it, oh, he's actually, he's not only doubled down on being a snake, he's tripled down. I can't believe it. He re-accepted me just to mug me off. At least, at least. Oh my God. To just completely. <laughs> he's been caught in 4K. Bro. At least just be straight up. We can see everything. We see the name, the car. It's all the same. Dude really just accepted me back just to act like nothing happened. And he's gone. What a... Oh, well. There's many bad words that I shouldn't say to describe that man. Take a punt as to what you think that word might be. Just a little punt. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Come on. There we go. We got in on the second time. And here we go. Honda Civic. Okay. What items are you trading please and thank you and what do you want for them let's see okay maybe that's a bit of a tough one to for him to like manipulate me on because he'll just say like blanket prices for multiple items so probably get a, a nice one here okay uh can i see there we go we'll have a look now i'll say name your price <laughs> sky blue octane <laughs> like french sky blue okay Ooh. how much for it Name your price. Oh, okay. Well, he, he probably thinks I'm saying that to the uh, the airstrike now because I was I was actually speaking about the sky blue octane. Uh, but um, oh, I could say, how, oh, how much for all five is so larry. Like, imagine just being like, I don't know how much you offer. Um, up to you, man. Up to you. Oh, that's, oh gosh. It went, oh gosh. When he says the word offer, that scares me a little bit. Because I don't know. Here we go. 
Name your price. I don't know how much you offer. The fact that he's, to be fair, the fact that he's tentative and unsure means it's probably going to be a decent price. Perhaps overpriced slightly. Not definitely not quick sell value because this is this is bread and butter. This is his inventory we're talking about here, right? Eight fifty for Octane. I, I'll do that. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah, let's do it. Um, is that how many you want? Oh, that's a dangerous message. Ah, uh, this is the confirmation of the first offer. Because he could be like, sure, or like, well, like, obviously I could want more. I guess. You sure? This is it. That's the last, that's the last bit of bait I'm giving him. And uh, if he doesn't say another number, then that's it. Because, question mark, just checking, smiley face. <laughs> Probably is a bit weird. No one really speaks like this in Rocket League trading terms. Just checking. Is that, is that it? Yeah, so 850. Imagine I put, so 8,500, just accidentally added an extra zero and see if he corrected. So 850. Oh gosh, let's see if he changes me or he says, yeah, 8,500. Imagine, imagine, little typo there. People will believe that, just accidentally double tap in the zero. Like in this context, it's clear, are you trolling? Oh, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't want to seem like I'm mugging him off, but I was low-key trying to give him a, a little hint. Uh, but we'll see what Echo user says. I've just outright asked him, whatever he says now, that's going to be it. And if he says 850, I'll take 850. And it just, it wasn't meant to be, which is very good for Echo user. One credit. I can't, I can't do one credit. Oh, that's a scary one. He's, he's skirting around the final offer for these last two messages. And I can't just say I'll accept anything. I can't say that, can I? That's the whole point. Finally, an offer I can refuse in this series. <laughs> how many, how many is that? It's too many to count. It's not a number. It's something to, it's 10 to the power of something. This is so long. I'm about to just put in 850 at this point. 850, I'll just say 850. I, I'm, I've tried so many times and it, it's going to be it like, we're going to be here all day. 900's fine. Yep, let's do it. He got 50 extra credits. All that, all that for 50 extra credits. Let's do it. I'm not even going to ask twice. I said it the next number he said, barring the, the massive number that, you know, is way too many credits. 900 credits for a Sky Blue Octane. Whew, I thought we were going to be trading Honda Civics, but we got a painted Octane out of it, which is sick. Thank you so much. Thank you. Haha. <laughs> Basically... I was accepting your first offer, whatever it was. <laughs> you cheated. What? What do you mean? <laughs> Bro, see ya. You have a nice day. You too. That was quite, that was quite nice. That was quite nice. So I remember to keep that guy on the friends list there. You've probably seen it. I assume you would have done the trade. He seemed like a really nice guy. He seemed like a genuine misunderstanding. Assuming I did get the Titanium White Octane back from that guy, Let's see what people would offer for my one. Most people are just doing credit offers. Overpay? This really intrigues me. Because I'm not necessarily looking for an overpay. But whatever they offer, because it wasn't specified in the trade, that could be an interesting one. And then if I do get scammed, I'll have no white octanes left. <laughs> okay, so I haven't heard anything there. White octane, 9,000 credits. 9,000 credits is pretty good to be fair. White Octane, 8,200. 9,000 credits. No offers. Damn it, boring. <laughs> this person has crates. Uh, it's just all credit offers. It's just all credit offers. Wonder about a black market offer. I want a black market offer for my painted Octane. No one has one. No one has a black mark. Oh, titanium white. Are you really inundated with friend requests that you have to message here first to try and sift through what's good and what's not? Is it really like that? Right, we're going back to selling the titanium white octane. This will be the finale. Let's see what we can find. 8,800, that's not too bad. This person's got some cool stuff. Interesting to trade with someone who has stuff as opposed to credits. Where's the person that was doing 9,000 credits? I think for being the best price for white octanes, that's the person I want to go to. Oh, here we go. 9,010. All right. Chickish, the man himself, the titanium white octane. Look at this preset. Spring, summer. What? There's nothing spring, summer about it. I just make a random name and then end up changing that preset for a while until I have to make a crazy new one. But here we go. The goat. The goat himself of trading. Wow. I've never seen a car like it. That's so sick. 
Yo, I have a titanium white octane. What is your offer? Name your price. Let's see how he does. Come on, because now all I can lose is maximum the white octane. So it's much better doing it this way than doing it with credits and someone asking for 100k. So let's see what we've got from the goat of trading, Chickish. I'll invite him to trade and see how we go. I'm going to have to have a sip of liquid courage. It's just water. Don't worry about it. Nothing crazy going on here. Let's see what they have. Want What is their final first and only offer for the titanium white octane? There we go. Is that your um, offer? There we go. You know, I buy for 9,010. I really respect that. And uh, if that's the offer, then I will. Uh, I'll go with that. Hopefully they say yes for my sake, because then I get some credits. Okay, that's the offer. Okay, so the only the only way I really got shafted, yes, exclamation mark. There you go, chickish, was I suppose the trading glitch. So for me, it's almost like this video hasn't ended yet. But for you guys, you probably know that I got the white octane from that other guy. That's just happening tomorrow for me. So I don't know. It's getting really hard to make these trading first offer videos, unless of course I went and did it with the community. Because I was considering that, going to my Discord server and saying, hey, everyone, I'm doing a trading lobby and then accepting first offers there. Maybe I'll do that in the future. Keep an eye out. So there we go. That is going to do it for this video. And through the power of editing, you will know how that first trade went. I have absolutely no idea. So it's almost like the video is incomplete for me. But regardless, I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, please do drop a like, subscribe down below to join the Pixel Army, and perhaps we'll do this again very soon. That is going to do it for me. I have been Pixel. You have been awesome. And I will see you in the next video very soon.